Hey everyone, it's Dave from Dave's Ohio Barbecue. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to season a smoker. There's a lot of different theories out there on how to do this. Um, and this is basically what I have gathered from watching different uh, videos and reading different articles about how to season it properly. First thing I do is I remove all the drawers, um, all the different um, things that are inside there. The grill grates, the charcoal grates, the ash drawer, everything, get it out, get it uh, on a table somewhere. And then you want to take um, a little bit of soapy water. So I just mixed up some regular dish soap in a bucket with some warm water and I start wiping everything down. The reason you want to do this is because you really don't know what chemicals and what grease and what is on there from the factory where this thing was made. So you really want to address all the surfaces inside and out. Um, rub it down really good. Make sure you just kind of wipe it off, clean it, clean out your rag every so often. Uh, don't forget any parts. Do all the grates, do all the uh, charcoal um, grates, even the shelf outside. I just washed that just for my own purpose. Inside I washed all the different surfaces, the supports for the grill grates, um, even the lid gets a good rub down, everything. Just get off all that oil. That's the first step because you really don't want to be baking that stuff into the metal. Um, make sure you do the firebox. Um, I did the lid here. I did where the thermometer connects and all that. And this is before I ever did the first smoke on this smoker. I didn't. I wanted to get everything cleaned off and good to go beforehand. And inside the firebox, like underneath where the drawer goes, again, all the supports, just make sure you get it all really, really scrubbed. That's really important. Once you get that part all done, what you're going to want to do is kind of take some damp paper towels and um, kind of wipe up all that soap and all the residue that you have in there and then let the smoker dry out for a bit. You kind of want a nice dry surface before you really start seasoning this. So I got it all wiped out, did the inside the uh, cook chamber, and then I went over and did where the firebox was and just kind of got it all dried, got all the soap and all the bubbles, all that residue out of there as best I could. Uh, once I let it dry a little bit, what I'm going to use to season this is I am using basically just pure olive oil. I had a big jug of olive oil in the uh, cabinet, and I just took it, dumped it into a Home Depot sprayer, and then used that to kind of spread the oil around on all the different surfaces. Just kind of squirt it on there, get it on there good. Uh, you want a nice, thin, even coat of oil um, all over the metal. So once you spray it for a while, again, take your paper towel and start spreading it out to get that nice coat on there. Um, and you'll see at the end of the video, even though it looks like I covered all the areas equally here, there are some areas of the metal that seem not to be as seasoned as others, so I'll address those later and maybe when I do my first cook, apply a little bit more oil on them just to make sure. Again, make sure you do the firebox and the lid to the firebox. Um, I've seen some videos where guys season the outside of their smoker. Um, I've seen a guy do it with WD-40, which to me seems a little crazy, but I didn't worry about the outside of my smoker. I keep my smoker covered. It's pretty well protected. Um, I didn't really see a need to, to do that. If I see some signs of rust or something show up, maybe I'll address it at a later date. Um, so then once I had everything, all the grates, all the, all the shelves done, I started up a, a chimney of charcoal. Uh, what you want to do is you want to get all the oil spread nice and evenly on there, and then once you get the charcoal all ready to go, you basically want to bring this smoker up to temperature, 250, even 300, and you just want to bake this oil into the metal. Seals up all the pores, gets everything just nice and kind of non-stick. I have no idea why I put more wood chips on top of here, um, but basically I just had a rip-roaring fire going, and I let it smoke, let it smoke for a while. Got up to about 250, 300 degrees. Again, the thermometer on this smoker is not great. Uh, my next video will be changing out the thermometer on, a, the, on the smoker. So there it is. I let it go, and I just basically let it cook until the temperature started dropping down. And when I open it up here, you can see it's kind of got that nice sort of shiny look on it. There's a couple sections on the, on the lid and stuff where you can see that looks like it probably could use a little more seasoning. Um, the end of the grill grate that was closest to the damper, kind of the oil almost burned off, so I might want to address that a little bit more. But there it is, the first seasoning of the grill. Kind of got all the pores filled, um, got oil on there, baked it in there. As you cook, you're going to have a lot more grease and fat drip off your food that'll kind of season it over and over again. So Remember that. to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be trying to get a new video up here every week. 
and follow me on uh, social media, Twitter and Instagram at Dave's Ohio Barbecue. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.